And the Rangers signing Artemi Panarin. You can say now that the bread man is rolling in the dough. Let's begin now as we send it over to John Giannone and Steve Ellicott, guys. Yeah, Billy, thanks very much. It's great to be part of that cast of thousands. And Steve, yeah, you certainly can. You know, the, 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 the guy who most teams wanted, mm -hmm. but most teams either weren't going to go after or couldn't afford, was our Temi Panarin. He's the lead of our Hot Topics segment, and the Hot Topics presented by Lexus, the official luxury car of the New York Knicks. And when you talk about a hot topic, the hottest player on the free agent market was our Temi Panarin. And the Rangers locked him up just afternoon, 27 years old, $11.5 million a year for seven seasons averages more than a point a game during the course of his last few seasons and he was the player that if you got him you were instantly better. You're instantly better because of his playmaking ability and the first thing I looked to was how many of his 59 assists last year were primary assists and his 44 he's got a threatening play to the net John that's why people have a hard time defending him. 12 of his 28 goals were one-timers. Pucks that just came off his tape so quickly and accurately. He had three breakaway goals. That's not really what you're gonna see from him. He's not gonna be dynamic up and down the ice as much as when he gets settled in the zone. He's got so many options. I think the best news for the Rangers is this. David Quinn on the first day of training camp, when everybody's there, prospects and players, he gets to say, guys, guess what? The expectation is that we make the Stanley Cup playoffs this year. From that point forward, everybody in the organization operates and thinks from the same mindset. Every decision they make is with that goal in mind. You couldn't say that a year ago. And you're getting a player who not only produces, but plays virtually every game. He's missed only six games in his yeah. four-year NHL career. That had to be an important message that the Rangers want to send to what will be a very young team. Durable. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to be a star player in this league, you've got to be able to play games consistently at a high level, but be healthy enough to do it. And you know what I think really helped this decision? Mika Zibanejad's play last year, it elevated himself to make it attractable to Panarin to want to play with him. So it wasn't just about the Rangers courting this player. The player wants to have to play on a specific line. And now he could have Kako after the Rangers win the draft lottery <laughs> as a left-handed shot on the right side. You can have Zibanejad as a righty playing with Panarin, who's a righty. So now you've got that righty-righty combo. He's gonna be dynamic on the power play. The power play next year can have three right-handed shots with Zibanejad and possibly D'Angelo on the back end with Panarin. There's options everywhere, and it opens up a lot of possibilities offensively. There was so much attention on Artemi Panarin during the course of the season into the playoffs. He had more than a point per game during the postseason when the Columbus Blue Jackets won a first-round series. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out our right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.